so now let's roof this building we're going to roof this building using slant roof we're going to slant roof this building we're going to slant one to this direction and the other one to the other direction so come over to our upper floor okay this is our upper floor plan and um, everything will be done perfectly so let's convert to our second floor let's roof this one first once i'm done roofing this one up we can then roof the one down so since we're going to use a slant roof which means the wall height will be higher than 3000 mm so i will convert my mark you highlight the entire of this come to wall and control a so right now i've highlighted only wall i can then increase it height to around 4900 or 5000 any of them okay so it will now reflect in my third story because i usually roof in my upper floor now how i do my roofing or how it's best to do roofing is to roof at another layer or another story this will enable you to easily edit your work you have done in the previous story when you roof at that exact story it makes it harder and uneasy for you to roof effectively or to make changes rather effectively in your previous story so right now i'm going to roof my second story at my third story so i've and now i want to use flat roof so what i will do now is i will just go straight to the roofing process flat roof doesn't have parapet or concrete fissure you just have the roof so i'll come back to roof double click or click on this layer and then start roofing now all settings are kind of nice 45 degrees is okay i'll just come over to okay and i'll roof this building i'll make sure that since my since the building is square i can just make it to be construction methods can just be rectangle yeah then i just roof this building like this it has been roofed remember it's now roofed in heap format is roofed as a heap roof yeah it's not roof as a heap roof. i haven't seen it in the 3d it's roofed like a heap roof but what i want is a slant roof now how to make your roof in a slant roof is just simple once you highlight your roof ctrl shift g ungroup your roof once you group it right click you will see something like split into single plane roof in your archicad once you right click your mouse you see split to single plane roof S click on it and click on split anyway so right now successfully split my roof into single plane but right now it's thin group so i'll click on ctrl shift g again to ungroup it so i'll ungroup the roof and so now i cannot delete this side of the roof that i don't need because i need a slant roof so i can then move this to this edge and move this one to this other edge using move node so right now i've made my roofing to be just one sheet and i can now offset all edges to do an offset of around 500 it's not fixed you can offset yours much more greater or lesser but i think around 500 600 is an average so i can then see it in 3d what i've done so far so as you can see now the roofing is now a slant roof but it is so high it is too high so to easily do this i can go to my elevation i can open an elevation so i've opened this elevation so right now we're going to bring this roof in to where it's meant to be the roof is meant to be around this area the base is meant to be around this area so I'm going to bring it down there. Then I'll come back to this edge here and drag it down. As I'm dragging it down, this box will show. You will then see change roof pitch. I'll click on it and I'll change the roof pitch. To be around here. Then let's see all in 3D again. So perfectly. So right now I've created a slant roof for my design. As you can see, I've created a slant through for my design, but this wall is still coming up. Now, to easily remove this wall in your slant through, it's just very simple, just one step. Convert your 
talk to the right place you placed your roof use on mark you cover the entire process click on wall because it's only the walls are coming out Control a highlight all your wall come to roofing again Control a highlight your roof right click click on connect once you see connect click on trim element to roof or shell once you do this then click on trim then let's see what that's done show on 3d perfect you can see it has removed all the excess wall from it so right now i now have a slant roof a perfect slant roof so let's do the same for this other story now this is our first story we are going to roof it as our second story layer so this is where we are going to roof this building but before that we have to also increase the height of this building of this wall right here i always mark you so this is where the roof is going to cover first we must show you can right click click on trace choose preference and trace above story so which means that it's the roofing starts from here and move back you can confirm it yeah it started from here back so we can just use my cube and cover this area wall highlight all the wall right here so perfect you can see this is at the walls that are going to carry the slant roof of this area so we can change the pitch or the roof height to be to, so we can add extra 1900 or 2000 okay so now reflect in our second story now so as you can see it I reflected now second story so you can join this to this or rather I just use this and join this to this to be on the same level now we're going to roof this building now using slant roof now we'll come over to roof again then we can roof this building now we remove it from a rectangular because this shape is not rectangle we we'll can change the complex roof and use your shift key to ensure, to ensure that it's straight remember when you click whenever you click the wrong edge whenever you click the wrong edge remember to just click on backscape back backspace to correct yourself when you not click the right point so okay Right now I've roofed this building. Now since it wants to be a slant roof and then we can then start by right clicking when, when after you have highlighted the roof, click on split into single plane roofs, split anyway. After splitting then you can then delete the roof if you don't want by ungrouping first, control shift G. After ungrouping they can then start deleting. So I don't need this, I don't need this, I also don't need this. I don't need this I don't need this so this is the only roofing sheet I need I can bring this one right here create a new node put it right here move this node right here and move this node right here so you can see it's what I've done in 3d also so this is how the roofing is so we want to do the same process but before that let's offset the roofing I'm going to offset all edge offset all edge by what 500 again then we're going to open an elevation so open an elevation will bring this thing down to that elevation mark so i brought it down can then bring this one down to by ensure that this is on slant change of pitch so perfectly we have roofed this building we have roofed this one to be one side or have roofed the other to be on that side so this is how to roof a building so to remove this excess wall we're going to do the, repeat the same process just highlight the roofing and the wall that you want to trim highlight all of them together then once you highlight them right click click on connect trim element to roof shell and click on trim so let's see on 3d again okay so we have extra one word that we did not highlight why is why this one is not trimmed it's because we didn't highlight it so we'll come back to the constant where, where the roof is then we highlight it now after highlighting it you can highlight the ones that are in excess 
right click click on connect it's only trim the one that are access click on trim so successfully we have roof this building with slant roof this one is slanted to the direction and the other one at the back is it's slanted to the direction so right now you can see the beauty of this house it looks so real so it looks so real so this is how to roof your house using a slant roof this is how to roof using a slant roof